nice of you to join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's really lovely to have you here with me today. We're going to be carrying on with our large folio album um, that I've been doing a tutorial on uh, recently. If you're not already a subscriber, then please subscribe. Every subscriber really does help. If you click down here on my logo here, if you just move your mouse across that logo, it will come up with a subscribe button. If you just click on the subscribe button, it's as easy as that. That's all you have to do. The only other thing you may need to do is if you want to hit the notification bell, that will notify you into your inbox um, every time I upload new content. So you will be um, one of the first people to know when I upload. So come and join me on my uh, face on my Facebook and Instagram accounts. I will put the, the links in the description box down below as always, and I'm also on TikTok. So come and have a have a um, Miranda over there. So let's get into the album. So I've done a few bits off camera as. I've said that I was going to do. Now what I've done is, the only things I've done is decorate these flaps here. So I've decorated these flaps here with some of the 8x8 uh, pattern paper and the measurements for these, if uh, you didn't catch the last video, was 7 and 3 quarters by 5 and 1 eighth, okay? And you'll need to cut four of those. Well, I cut three and then used up my scrap um, for this page, this top page here, because I've done like a a paper piece with my um, image there, because I really thought that image was nice. And then I've just added some um, paper clips where I'm going to slot in some um, plain white card um, where you can then you can put your photographs on, so they are interchangeable. So then I was coming across onto here and I thought my pocket here is looking a bit gapy. So I was trying to um, work out what I was going to do. So I wanted to actually show you what I'm going to do. So with that, I'm going to make like a belly band that comes over and attaches to the bottom of the pocket here um, with a magnet and that way it's going to stop anything sliding out um, out the top. So what I thought I would do was bringing in your 12, um, your 8x8 papers, I did look in here and you have got some square, if I can find them, there they are, I knew they were in there. So in um, the in the eight by eight, you have got these lovely square images. So you can either have a really nice decorative feature, or you can just have a very plain one. So again, the choice is yours. So what I thought I would do would be to add that uh, on here as like a badge that you can flip over and off. So that was my thought process of that. So. Let's get our paper trimmer in. I'm going to just move that um, to the other side of my desk so that I can get my paper trimmer in. And some of our black card. So what we're going to do is we're going to make um, our, our we're going to take our black card and we're going to cut it at nine and a half by two inches. Let's go two inches by nine and a half, like so. There we go. And then we're going to score this um, top piece at half an inch, and that's going to become our glue tab, like so. And then that's going to fit over the top of our page, and we're going to glue it onto the back of the front page there. Okay, and that's just going to flip up and flip down. So, taking your paper, work out what you're going to use. Now, I think I may use, I've got on there, 
I might use the lady's face because I've got a lot of flowers and butterflies and things on this. I think I'm going to use the lady's face. So it will all be different to how, what sizes you use to how much you cut off and leave a border for these. Like so. Oh, pull that off. And I'm just going to... I can never seem to get the correct border. I either cut too much off or I don't cut enough off. So like so. Now that will do. So that is going to... So I'm going to... First of all, I need to measure this now. So mine measures... Three and three quarters. I'm just going to chop that little bit off there just to make that exactly three and three quarters. This side, I think I'll do this and do that at three and three quarters. Cut that white bit off, and three and three quarters will be there. So it's three and three quarters square, that's what mine is. Okay, so taking your cardstock, you need to do this one eighth of an inch bigger, so this will be at three and seven eighths. By three and seven eighths. Okay, like so. And then that should give us a nice border. Now, again, it's up to you where you have your band come over. You can have it at the side and then have this more in line with um, your belly band or have it just going across like so. I mean, that looks quite nice. Or you can have it in the middle and then have your belly band sort of tucked um, sort of there, like so. So, let's get this stuck into place. So, I'm going to just put some double-sided tape over my glue, my glue tab. And this goes onto the valley fold oh no please don't do that oh. note to self do not leave double sided tape on the top of pattern paper otherwise it does tend to rip so i'm going to put mine in the center or as center as, as center as i can and then push that down and as you can see it's going to stick on the back here here and when we put the cover on that it's going to cover that up so we're not going to see it so then this is going to fit over the top like so I'm going to put my magnet on this side probably underneath my flap up bring in your magnets and I'm just going to move that round so that you can see. Put it so that it is about, well, however much you've used for yours. Um, put it up probably about an inch. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue down. Push that over. And then I'm going to put a bit of double-sided on sorry not double-sided um, tape just to keep that stuck down while I put this other one in place because this other one is going to have to sit uh, in the pocket so So it's just to show you that you can, if you don't add your um, magnet straight away, this is just showing you um, that you can sort of do it. Is put one on the top and then one on the bottom. 
So So I'm not going to stick this down proper so that I don't um, move my tape and then I can then go and put this one on underneath. And it should then stick to the top which it has. Then I'm going to push this one, push your double sided, no, not your double sided, your construction tape that you are going to use to can secure it then you can take this top one away and then you will have that attached okay like so and then if you want to add to just to make it um, so that uh, you've got a, a nice magnetic f pull you can add one on the top which I think I may do like so and then that's going to when you've got your although I think that needs to come down a little bit nice and flat. That's there. Take this one. Put your double then your construction tape. And then that should, yes, that's better. I haven't got too much of a um, a bow in my page there. Okay, so now we need to add the element. So let's. And we can add our pattern paper to that, but then we can also then add um, a another one of the squares on the top of that as well, and then that's going to then sandwich that in in there like so, and then that just gives us a little flap. So the measurement for this will be six and one eighth by one and seven eighths. So get whatever pattern paper you're going to use. And I've got just a bit of off cut there, so I'm going to use that. But I'll use the blue one. And then that goes on to your belly band like that. And you know what I forgot to do? Ink my edges. on there like so. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then we can then do, we can then 
do exactly the same onto the back side of our magnetic tie closure but I won't do that now because um, I want to get on and do something else so don't forget that's your homework is to do the back um, to cover those again so we've got to go on and, and now um, decorate these now um, these um, were just a plain uh, I just did as a plain page two plain pages and I think on here I added a tuck spot um, so let me just bring that in and have a look so that I can refer to it so that's that page um, I've just done and yes I just added a little element of a tuck spot on there and then nothing on there um, but you can then add your own photographs on there okay like so so it was just a tuck spot underneath so let's get that out so let me have a look what elements we've got I think I might um, cut that bit out there that one and have that as a tuck spot now what I'm doing is, is I'm just giving it I'm just cutting out very light very roughly um, leaving a, a very big uh, white border and then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get some of my off cut of my black paper my back black card and I'm going to just stick that on there like so and then cut it out properly um, once it's stuck onto the black card like so so you need to put quite a bit on because it obviously you're going to um, it needs to be spread out so that all the edges are glued so let me stick that on there like so. And then we can go ahead and cut it out. Once I've cut my images out, I do like to go around with either a black pen or um, a brown pen just to hide that white cord edge and it just makes it look more um, finished rather than it just being a cut out and also what it does is if you're not very neat, um, neat cutter like me it will hide um, your edges that you've cut as well so it's it's a good um, thing to get into practice in doing but if you do it always do it with the back facing you so that if you slip it's going to go on the back and not on the front so if I did it this way and I slipped I would then add pen onto my image and you don't want to have a nice um, black or brown stripe across your lovely um, cut out image so this is going to then go onto this page underneath like so but I'm, what I may do is I may actually put it on the top I might change it around and put it there and then just have this as a plain piece because this has got something going on quite a lot so this one and then this side will be quite clear so we'll do that just move these things out of the way okay so the measurements for your paper for the um, this flap here and the flap on this side so you need two of these and they're going to measure 10 and 1 8 by 7 and 3 quarters and you need to cut two of those for the outside uh, and the inside flaps.
Okay, right, so what I've done so far um, while I was off camera, I cut out my image and then I then backed it onto some black cardstock and then recut it out. Um, I've just added some plain back black card for the moment because what I want to do is make sure once I've finished all my pages in my album I'll then use all my offcuts for my tags and things. So I've just cut out my tags uh, and photo mats um, just ready and some of these are just off cuts of the cardstock that I've had so your uh, sizes could be different but I'm just going to give you what sizes I've got so for in this um, pocket here with the flip up I've put a little I've put a little booklet and that is going to measure 11 and a half by eight and a quarter and with the eight and a quarter, sorry, with the, the 11 and a half measurement down the side of your trimmer um, up against the measurements, you want to cut it at, sorry, you don't want to cut it, you want to score it at 11 and three quarters. Sorry, not 11 and three quarters, five and three quarters. You want to score it at five and three quarters. For the um, photo mat on here this is seven and a half by six and a half and that's going to go into your little tuck spot and then for the sideways pockets um, I've just got a, ta um, a photo mat at six by four and an one eighth and then four and five eighths by six and then the one that goes behind is five and a quarter by seven and seven eighths. So they fit in there. So for the wallet style page, I've got a booklet that measures eight by five. So then you need to score it at four. So that's eight by five. And then you score that at four. And then the tags are um, six by seven. So this is a six by seven. And that's the small one. So you could, you could name them like small, medium, large. The next one is six by seven and a half. And I think the next one goes in there. And then this one is six by eight. So this one is six by eight. And then you've got these ones here, which you can just add some little tags to, um, you know, as and when you've got some spare or some off cuts of your card stock okay but I haven't added those as yet so then close that up and then this one I've just put this one on here for the time being um, but I'm this will probably be a bit bigger uh, on here and then what I've done is I've just gone round the um, sides and just cut out some strips at um, a quarter um, of an inch by Um, by 10 so that you need to cut two of those and then a quarter of an inch by seven and seven eighths and you'll need to cut two of those as well so we're going to work now on our hinged pages so we are going to add some a pocket to the to the inside flap and also a pocket to the outside flap as well. So the pocket for the inside flap, you'll need to cut two of these and you'll need to cut them at three and three quarters by ten and a quarter. And then you need to score along one uh, long edge. So having your 
smallest measurement up against butted up against your measurement on your trimmer and then you need to score down the long edge at half an inch okay so you need to cut two of those and then the other ones which are going to fit on the other on the back side of our pocket of our page and these are going to measure two and a half by ten and a quarter and again we need to score at half an inch so having the smallest measurement butted up against our trimmer measurement guide that you then need to score uh, along the very long edge at half an inch then that they are going to add as our glue tabs so again you need to cut two of those so once we've got them cut out we're going to add our um, double sided tape so we're going to add that to the mountain side fold of your glue tab and cut that off now you may want to um, if you want to round the corners of your pockets it's an, again it's entirely up to you I think I'm going to keep them um, square we're going to take the double sided off and we're going to put the, our pocket about one eighth of an inch um, above this scored edge so you may need that's it try and get it as an as oh I've not there we go good job it wasn't stuck down try and get line it up with the side as well once you've got that in place just burnish that scored Sorry, just burnish that glue tab down so that it's nice and firm and stuck. Now we're going to work now, we're going to turn it over and we're going to add our small um, pocket as well. So again, add that glue tab, sorry, add that double sided tape to that mountain fold glue tab. take off that backing of the double sided tape and again do exactly the same thing about um, an eighth of an inch above that scored or where your paper is joining make sure you've got it level on both ends That's it. Okay, burnish that one down okay then what we're going to do is we're going to use our our construction tape to secure the sides so put that flap up secure the first one and then secure the second one over the top I think let me see because this one is a bit smaller um, so let's try that so to half on the side of the page Flip it over and then make sure that it's nice and tight and then push that down. Now what I might do is just add an extra part on here but go inside that pocket if I can. I'll just cut that bit off. So there, so just cut that bit off there. And then that should then fit, there we go, over there, like so. And so do the same with the other side. Let's turn that round. And take out the, so do the small one. Turn that down so that you've got a nice straight line. You might actually go inside there. And then this one I'll put over the top. Firm it down. Oh, 
maybe I should I think I should have done the big one first. It's okay, so do that one and then that one and then I'll do the small one. So make sure you that you um, attach the small part of the pocket first. There we go. So that is that pocket there. So once you've done the one, you now need to do the other side. So do that exactly the same um, on this page here. So you need the big one first and then the small one because the big one goes inside. So take the double sided off your big one because that goes on the inside. Again, if you didn't want to have the big pocket on the inside, you don't have to. You could put your smaller pocket in there. So again, that is entirely up to you. Um, it just would make that, that um, album then a unique album to you. So that's the top one. And then we need the bottom one, the smaller one. Oh, not that one. So I double sided again on the mountain fold of our of our glue tab. Again, half an inch, sorry not half an inch, uh, an eighth of an inch above that um, scored line and then just burnish that down like so. Then we can add our pockets, I'm sorry we can add the sides, I'm just going to bend that over for a second. So do the big pocket first so that is going on there turn it over and flip it round that's one and I'm going to do the other side as well So turn it round. And oh. okay. Like so. Smooth it out so that you've got no air bubbles in that pocket, and then fold that one over. So that's one. Now we need to do the small pocket, so we need to attach that, so a bit smaller, and put that there, turn it over, and there we one. And then we need to do the other side. Smooth it out, add your tape, so it's only, it's half on one side and then you're going to pull it round to attach to that other pocket on that side and then that then is our pocket there and our pocket there and then we flip up and we've got one inside and one inside like so. So you just then need to um, put your patterned paper on. Now, I'll do one page and then I'll do the other page off camera. So let's measure that. So to measure all of this, I'm going to go in just a little bit. So I would want it at nine and a half by 10 and 1 8 okay so it's so you want to cut your piece of paper nine and a half by 10 and 1 8 and when we cut our um, paper you want to cut it this bit comes off 
So you want to put it in your trimmer. Let me move that up there. Let's bring my trimmer in. Okay, I hope you can see that. So, so we want to go nine and one half down. Nine and one half, nine and a half down. And ten and one eighth long like so let's cut that bit off right I am going to have to cut off some of this but it's just to give us an idea so this side will need to be six so you need to cut this then at six we've already done that by ten and one eighth and then whatever's left will go in there. So you need to cut it um, so that this part here is being cut off. So six is there. Like so. And then that goes there. Let's bring this down. So that's going to go into our pocket and then this is going to then fit on this side here. Now I am going to round the corners of these, I haven't hadn't rounded them yet. So that in turn means I need to round just the two outside corners. So, and then they will fit on there. Don't forget to ink your edges. And then I'm going to stick this side on first. is just going to fit inside and then marry up with that. Like so. Oh, I'll get there in a moment. You just need to give it a bit of a wriggle. There we are. And then it should just marry up, which it does. There we go. So then you've got that continuous page, um, the pattern that just goes across. I just love it. I think that what? So you could then also add the, the bit that you cut off to then make it look even more like a um, a pattern and just paper piece this last strip. So I'm just going to cut this top edge off and then put that this side. Okay, so then that is just going to go along that edge. It won't marry up um, fully because you've obviously got some underneath your pocket, but um, it does marry up. Um, it's not too bad. You can't you can't see it too much. So this measurement here, you need to cut your paper at five eighths by ten and one eighth, and then that should then fit nicely on the edge there. Again, don't forget to ink those edges. And then add that 
extra strip on. You could obviously then put another a strip of black card down the centre there if you wanted to, but um, actually that's not too bad. That looks okay like it is. So on here, um, so we've got the flap. So this is going to be by ten and one eighth. So that will be the same for this side as well. So by ten and one eighth. So you've got the. So you'll need yes. So this one will be slightly different. You can add. You know you can pattern piece it if you so wish. But I think I'm just going to see if I've got some. So that can go for there. That's a cut off that I've got. That's that one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paper piece this um, going onto here, and then I'll do the same for this side as well. I think that goes down and then up because it's too big to take all of it. I could get some of that on, so that could go. Um, on the inside here like that okay so I'll just push that in there so this part here we're going to do a paper piece so round and up so this part here is five and three quarters so you want to cut sorry not five one and three quarters so you want to cut this at one and five eighths by ten and one eighth so work out so I need I'll need this part, so I'll need to turn my paper upside down because I'm going to do this part first. Move that over there. Bring this out. So we need this at five and, sorry, keep saying five. One and five eighths. Off by ten and one eighth. Okay, so that then goes there, and then this one is five and seven eighths. So five and seven eighths. I'm just going to check that. So that bit I need to cut off. So and then the next and then it's ten and one eighth. Okay. So then that will go on that side there. So round your corners, but just the two that are on the edge, and then ink your edges. So, just put your glue on. Okay, bring it up a little bit. Let's just add a bit of glue in there. Okay, so then you can see that look that that then just literally hides that um, that that is a big hinge there and then you open it up and then you've got that lovely paper pieced inside and then obviously you wouldn't know that there's a pocket in there so coming on to the back now again the back if you wanted to you could paper piece this going upwards and then into there if you wanted to so again, that is really entirely up to you, whatever 
you want to do because this is the end of this is that piece there um, so I could actually bring that round but then and then when that's opened you've got that that would be actually really nice and you bring that round you've then got that bit um, coming over this way so let me just cut the bottom bit off so that's ten and one eight Like so, and then that's going to fit into that pocket, and then it's going to paper piece that side. Okay. Okay. Just wiggle that in, and bring that up. Like so, down and across. Yeah. Uh, so that then is that. Oh, you can't really see that um, side paper piece there as well. So you've got it paper pieced on this side, and then when you open it out, you've also got it paper pieced that side. So then we've just got the pocket left to do, which is there. And this will measure um, one and seven eighths by ten and one eighth. Okay, so that again is the same for that pocket there. Now I'm going to add just that plain paper on there. I think that would go quite well. So I'm just going to do the plain paper. My next one is one and five eighths. So one and five eighths by ten and one eighth. This here in the middle is going to, I think that is a quarter, a three quarters. So that's going to be five eighths by ten and one eighth. One and five eighths by ten and one eighth. So that goes on there. Right, the next one is one and five eighths. And that goes on there. Then I've got a five eighths there. Then I've got another one and five eighths. That then goes there. And then that goes on there like so. So don't forget to ink all your edges. And then you can go ahead and stick them in. And then this last one will go on here, but I'm just going to round these corners again. Now again I cut this at the wrong at the wrong measurement it should have been my six so I'm just going to add a tiny sliver of a one eighth of an inch piece down that end bit there 
and hopefully it fits on but you will cut the correct size and not have to do that just got the inside of that now to finish to paper piece and then and then that cover there and then we can go on to the box